Hello friends. In this lecture, we are going to learn about another STL member that is list. List is basically kind of a linked list where what we do in again STL provides you with the class S list and in a list you can push back elements okay you can push element in the front you can insert element in the middle like a linked list you can iterate through the linked list access its elements and then delete some elements from the linked list and so on okay the good thing about list is the plus points you can basically delete any element okay and you can insert at any point in the list okay without much more much of complexity in comparison to vector okay but the thing that vector has it that you can access any element just by writing its index i because vectors are stored in contiguous memory locations in list what happens the elements are not stored contiguously so whenever you need to access the ith element you need to traverse the first second third till the ith element and then access it but the deletion is very simple because if let's say this is the linked list and we want to delete this item we just point this element here so this will be removed okay so this is the case insertion also if i want to insert something here just point this one here it's next to this one so in list this is the benefit and it's dynamic okay you can add memories it's more efficient even in terms of uh, memory allocation because vector if you need to make it dynamic so we will allocate some space and then if you are increasing from that initial capacity then because the memory needs to be contiguous and if that memory is not available here whole array now needs to find a new place where everything can be stored contiguously so this is about the list and vectors but let's see how we write a code for list so very simple 101 code for this is hash include list that is the class so hash include our list class using namespace standard so you don't need to write always as standard list okay so this namespace i already provide the compiler that i will be using this namespace standard so list when i want to define a list of integers i will just write list what type of list what items should it contain what data type int and then my list is l now i want to do a pushback okay where i will push the items in the end so l dot push back your item so zero l dot push front also zero okay so that's fine so we will push in the front also zero so but what happens pushback means this is the start so let's say there was one so now your list is something start here this is the end one is there push back again let's say I do a 2 so push back will be at the back so 2 will come here push back 3 so 1 2 and 3 will come here but if you do a push at front so what will happen if 4 is at the front so push front will have 4 1 2 and 3 okay so this is the case and now what happens l dot insert if i want to insert somewhere in between so i will do l dot begin is the starting pointer and then i will give two so i want to insert somewhere in at the second place okay so somewhere here then what i want to do i want to iterate through the whole list so i will have again so one important point i will have a iterator how you write the iterator for list i will first write what kind of iterator i want that for a list so list int then an iterator for it so iterator i i will write and then i will point it to the beginning i is l dot begin which means it will be pointing here whenever you do i plus plus i it will means this pointer iterator will move here then again here and so on till it finds the l dot end which is the end of this okay 
So it will move there. You can access the element by using star i, the value stored at the iterator that place. Okay. This is the simple code. Now let's try to run this. So we will put some good values here. Okay. The next element, let's say it's 10. I build this code. So it's working fine. And now let's try to run this. So list was there. We inserted zero initially then that was push back then we did a push in front and that was 10 so 10 came so 0 and before that 10 so 10 0 was there now what happens so let's see so let's try to analyze this thing initially i did push back 0 0 was there then push in front 10 10 came here this then insert plus plus l dot begin so l dot begin is here i came here at this point and then you inserted a 2 so 2 will be inserted on the left so 10 2 0 then you did push back 5 and then push back 6 so wherever is your iterator if you push at that point insert at that point just before that it will be inserted so we saw that 0 then 10 was there we did plus plus l begin so this was l begin so it came here and then we inserted 2 which was at just at left of your iterator now your pointer basically so now iterator we iterate through begin to end and we print out the value so this is what you get 10 2 0 5 6 so this is good enough for beginning about iterators if you want to know let's move further and little bit see a few more code okay so little bit about deleting some elements okay so let's put some new code here and we would like to see so we will have some erasing from a list some items okay so we have my list okay so we construct a list which is of type integers data type my list is its name I have two iterators one is it1 and another is it2 so what I do just make a for loop I do my list dot push back multiples of 10 so zero it will be 10 20 30 so till 100 I will push the items in fact is it 100 or just 90 less than 10 okay so that's what is entered so you will have elements let's take so it will be pushing everything 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So these elements are inserted in your list because it was of type list of type int. And then I defined my list. Okay. So this simply says that your list is of type data type int it can store. Then I have what I have is let's say two iterators also I define which means I can iterate through I can point to some elements using the iterator it1 and it2 so it1 and it2 both I define equal to make it equal to my list dot begin so this is my list okay so this is the list and what I do is that I point both it1 and it2 to the beginning so here they come let's put it in different color so this is it1 and it2 now what i do advance is an algorithmic function that is provided it2 comma 6 if you advance it it will go to some lo location to plus 6 so it2 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 it2 comes here and it is not here after this line and plus plus it1 so it1 will also go and it will come here so it1 comes here then what we do it1 is equal to my list dot erase it1 so now see the importance of this line i want to erase something and what is that element i am pointing it1 at the element 20 which is at the, the second element i delete it and then why, why i am writing this line so what happens is I delete this element this one goes and now my pointer is pointing to basically 20 is deleted and my it1 will now point to this 
element okay so this is how stl works so it will point to the next element that has come to the the second place okay so it2 was initially at the second element now because 20 is deleted 30 comes becomes the second element it2 is pointing to that element so let's little bit delete few things so that it becomes easier for you to understand okay so now what happens is that it2 is here it this is it1 in fact it1 yeah it2 my list dot erase it2 so it2 is done so if you remove this so 70 will be gone and it2 will now point to something 80 it2 so this is now it2 is pointing to 80 then i do plus plus it1 it1 will come here and your minus minus it2 so it2 will come to this place now we do my list dot erase it1 comma it2 so you can provide some range also for erasing that erase between these two whatever is there so what happens if you do like this your erase is that it will erase from the first one inclusive and before just before the second one so these two elements will go and your it1 so will come here okay to the 60th element the element 60 so let's try to see so they will come now both of them will be at the element 60 then we just uh, print them out so my it1 is my list dot begin it1 is till it's not equal to my list dot end we just increment it and print that out so let's try to build this one and see what happens so if we build this my list contains a finally 10 30 60 80 and 90 so this is what is there in fact uh, we should try to have this after each one of them so that we can appreciate this much more okay so one here this is just for printing in fact you could write a function for it but it just printing it now i write it here again i delete here if you write like this and again there is a print statement here so build what has happened i have not taken this one out i build this code i think it should work fine so let's try to see uh, initially all the elements are there first delete was of 20 next delete was of the element 70 and then what happened was that 40 and 50 goes 10 80 and 90 is only left so where is that one so it1 to it2 so what happened is that only 60 80 90 are left so that's there so 60 80 and 90 are left after the delete so this is the case okay so next thing is we will look at another one that is let's see about insertion we will have a very quick look at this one okay so we will look at this code for how to insert again we have a my list iterator is also there we insert five elements one two three four and five then what happens i can just make it is equal to my list dot begin i point it to the beginning and then i can insert a 10 there okay so let's try to have only till here and let's see this code run okay so what happens is we have my list contains all these items so the basic idea is but that you can do again you can insert a function is there insert so this is my list dot begin again you have an iterator we have one two three four and five by pushback we begin and make it is equal point to the beginning of the list then i do it plus plus it it comes here and then insert 10 okay so 10 is inserted so it gets inserted before two so one 10 2 3 4 5 
then what happens my list dot insert it so it when it is inserted so it is still at this place now we insert it2 at 2 comma 20 okay so this means now i'm saying that insert this twice two times so 1 10 20 20 2 3 4 5 these many times it will be inserted and then we make a vector okay so which has size okay 2 and it has got 30 twice okay so these we insert so basically again you can play with the pointers of the iterator and print the values so if you run this so we saw what was the output if you see so it is 1 10 20 30 30 2 3 4 5 okay so this is the idea for the insertion and i hope you understand about the list so list is better in terms of insertion in middle in comparison to the vector because in your programming interviews they ask what is the difference between list and your vector so just to summarize so your vector indexing is better you can access any item much faster because the memory location location is contiguous and i can access in constant time but if you try to remove any element or add any element then this becomes a costly affair due to shifting but in list you can add or delete any item in very small with small complexity okay but accessing you need linear traversal so this is the idea for lists okay so i hope you understand this thanks a lot